Long or short term stocks. What's going on YouTube? It's Jano back at it again with another video and today we're talking about stocks. But before we begin, please feel free to leave a like for a cookie and let's get started. So long or short term stocks. One thing we have to remember you guys is stock income and any profit that you make off of stocks is taxable. Yes, you heard me and this ain't a free country. Another thing you have to remember is short term stocks are taxed way higher than long term stocks. See what they do you guys is they base the tax percentage off of your income level and how long you've had the stock. If you're interested in looking at a chart, I'll have a link down below so you can see and compare your income level and how long you've had your stocks and then you'll know how much taxes you're gonna have for the profit you make. What a lot of people tend to do is long-term stocks because if you have a very low annual income and you keep the stocks for more than a year and then you start to sell, the taxing percentage is little to nothing. But if you were to have a six-figure income and then you're doing short-term stocks, the tax percentage is insane, like really, really high. There's nothing wrong with doing short-term or long-term stocks or both. You just gotta realize that if you do short-term stocks that whatever profit you're gonna make it's gonna be taxed. And if you make a lot of money, it's gonna be a lot. Another thing you guys, me personally, is I find long-term stocks to just be better. See, the thing with the stock market, you guys, and I've said this countless of times, is it always recovers. It's always human nature. Unless the companies that you're invested in randomly all go bankrupt, which is never gonna happen unless it's the end of the world, it always goes back up, which is why you need to have patience. So that's why usually when most companies, especially blue chip stocks, the value of their shares tends to go up over the course of a year which means if you just waited and just got dividends from them and then waited till the following year if you chose the correct companies you'd be making a profit and on top of that if you kept the stocks for over a year the tax percentage would be very low on top of if your income level is low too so yeah that's just my opinion on long and short-term stocks you guys i tend to do both but i do long-term way more than short-term and yeah that basically just wraps up the video for today you guys if you have any questions feel free to comment them down below and I'll try to get to them as fast as I can. See you guys next video.